Taurus, this is your weekly reading. This is a general reading, so if it resonates for you, there will be an extended at the end. And in the extended, I'll go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. I will also answer three yes or no questions in the extended. <clears throat> Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because it really is beneficial for you. Then you'll get notified all things Taurus. Okay. It's completely free. It doesn't cost anything. And then I do upload Taurus readings every single week. So you will be privy to that when you hit the subscribe button. Chaos and conflict. You should probably check out Capricorn's reading because this card came up too. Between worlds. Blessed. And what you're not seeing is why. There's this question you keep asking yourself, why? Why is this going on? Why is this happening? Why? What's? Go you're not even seeing the reason why. I feel like there was some uh, issues in the past that you were dealing with, some fighting, some whatever, but it's you're finally stepping into um, the colorful part of your life. I will lay the tarot cards down and then I will go over them. See what I have for you. Ten of Cups. Empress. This is Taurus and Libra. Four of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. Star. This is Aquarian energy. Ace of Swords, and the overall energy is the moon. I feel like there's some information that's coming out. Whoop. Hermit. Whoops. Goodness gracious. Five of Pentacles. The overall energy is about, there's some sort of selfish energy. I'm constantly feeling that with this Taurus, re, with these Taurus readings. So it's like, um... One more card. There's something about I have to be right. There's some sort of information like um, I'm always right type of feeling, type of sensation. I don't know if this is you or if this is the other person. Um, it's possible for some of you it's you and it's possible for some of you it's the other person. But there is some sort of like I'm only going to take care of myself. I'm only going to do what I want to do. And that type of mindset has put you out significantly or put them out. It's, um, you do have the resources to take care of yourself, but this, I'm only going to worry about me. I'm only going to take care of me. I'm only going to do for me. That type of energy causes a lot of conflict and a lot of resistance towards peace and harmony. This 10 of cups, happiness. There is a lesson that needs to be learned about taking action towards your own happiness. Um, you know, I, I always say make you can do whatever you want that makes you happy. As long as it doesn't hurt you or it doesn't hurt anybody else, then have at it. You know, just as long as you're not hurting you, yourself or hurting other people, then, you know, you can do whatever you want. It's your life. There is this, like, removing yourself. There's the Hierophant. This is Taurus energy. There is... um this feeling of receiving, but there's also this, like, there needs to be a release and a let go of specific commitments, I feel like. There's, like, this holding on to things that are no longer good for you, this needs to be released, and it's, like, as soon as you release that energy, then you get into the abundance mode. You get into the receiving mode. This four of pentacles, taking care of yourself. There's, there's an alone... There's this like regenerative need to be alone feeling that is coming off very selfish. It's like you it's it's like you want to be alone but you don't want to be alone. Like you want to be alone but you're lonely. And it's like there's this like conflicting like you're asking for this and you're getting what you want but then it's like you're unhappy that that's what's happening. Again, I always have to make sure that I say the reverse the roles because these readings for Taurus, they come off very harsh. I tap into the this very selfish energy and sometimes like 
it comes off as like I'm saying it to you, but you have to remember to, to reverse the roles because whoever this person is, it's like they absolutely 100% need their alone time and this is what they want. But then it's like once you give it to them, then they're like, then they're not happy either way. So they're not happy when they're in a relationship and they're not happy when they're alone. It's like there's this trying to figure out what makes you happy. Like there's a lesson here that needs to be learned about. They need to learn about their happiness. Seven of Cups. The time has come for them to... Um, to do their own work. This person needs to do their own work. They need this moment to be alone, to be able to work on themselves. There is a lot of hope here for this person, but I also feel like there's just a lot of information that there's so much information here that is not available about this person. Like this person doesn't know what makes them happy. They don't know what they want. They don't know where they want to go. They don't know um, who they are. There is a lot of clarity that needs to happen. There's a lot of information that needs to be learned here. This is a major obstacle with this person. It's, it's like they really enjoy conflict and chaos in relationships. It's like they're addicted to this, this um, stuck, angry, hostile, gotta battle energy. It's like they're willing to sacrifice everything and fight to the death. Do you see this lion? roaring at the other one whoever this person is it's like they get off on like this fighting and this bickering and like nobody knows why nobody knows why this person does the things that they do but it's really clear that this person has to be the one in charge and has to be in control but they're it's I just don't like this energy for this person. I Every time I do this reading for Taurus, I always get this energy of just this very toxic person that comes up. And I just don't like their energy. This person is, you know, very controlling, very manipulative. They enjoy chaos. It's like misery loves company, hurt people, hurt people type of feeling. It's just never... These readings for Taurus don't ever feel good for me. Like, they just come off as very selfish whoever this person is. Okay, Taurus. So in the extended, I'm going to go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because it really is beneficial for you, and then you'll get notified all things Taurus. And I do Taurus readings every single week. I am going to answer three yes or no questions in the extended, so make sure you grab those when you pop on over there. And a couple of videos are going to show up here on your screen. If the titles resonate for you, I highly recommend you check them out, and I'll see you over there.